in this episode. Ta-da! <laughs> the girls will be out of a job unless they earn their keep. Absolutely crazy. I'm opening the gate for calves. Little Milton's off to school. All of you look like lunch. And as Christina goes for broke at the next camp drive. Right the hey, Rainey's in it. Christina's in it. We're all in it. We're all in it to win it. Milton's got some news, and Cooley Bar will never be the same. Well, I've got a little announcement to make. It's the end of a hard day's work. That pig will grab you. Look out, here she comes. <laughs> Go ahead of it. With the regular jobs done, it's the horses that are getting a workout. She's a really talented horse. Hell of a lot more talented than I am. Christina's training for the next big camp drive. That's Trot. This one's a local event. Only 230 clicks away in Catherine. It's one of my all-time favourite things to do. Chew a horse. It's going to be a real family affair. Hamish and Christy and Rainy are going to come in as well. How you going, Rainy? It's going to be a bit of a battle by the looks of it. And let's not forget Little Milton. All right, cowboy. But all eyes will be on Christina, who, after coming fourth at Brunette, is going for gold. Yeah. If she gets there in one piece. Anyway, we live to tell the tale. I'll we'll see how we go. <laughs> then bolted. I got run through a mob of trees, and my arm got caught in a tree, and my face got a bit of damage. But anyway, we live to tell the tale this time. So we'll see how we go. Barely dawn. I'll put him in the car. But before Christina goes to the camp draft, she's got something bigger to do with Little Milton. We're off to Catherine to the School of the Air in school. This is his first time, yeah. School day today. Go to school or what? For the next six years, the youngest Jones will do school from home with a computer link to his teacher. It's a shaking head business. But this is the one day he'll get to meet her and the other School of the Air kids. He's never been into a classroom before, except his own. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how he goes with all the other kids because he's never... I don't think he's ever really played with kids his own age. He's in an adult's world, I guess. Dad can't go because we've got a mop of cattle in the yard. Is that all right? Christina's little boy is growing up fast. And that's what Mum is learning today. It's quite sad, actually. Sometimes I just... It's not sad, it's very exciting, but it is going to be strange. All right, I'll go and put him in the car. It's a 230k drive to school in Catherine. And while Mum and son head for one adventure... Two other people are getting ready for their own. Ta-da! Trev's return has done Katie and Caroline out of a job. And if they want to stay at Cooley Bar, they'll have to earn their keep. We just spoke to Christina and we found out that we can go out and like work with the guys and the cattle and everything, so that's going to be amazing. Milliard! Milliard! There's a thousand head of cattle in the yard. And the boss wants them sorted. Brother, you two girls stay in there. And when I say car, you just lift the chain off and open the gate. They won't hurt you. Push! Drafting's kind of hard when you've never been near a cow before. Absolutely crazy. I'm opening the gate for calves. 
but thankfully helps nearby. After half a season at Cooley Bar, rookie Jeff knows the drill. When Milton talks, you listen both ears, just full attention, 100%, because whatever he's got to say is worth listening to. First impressions last, so you want to do it really well. Too many people now don't know what a hard day's work is. I think they're getting a bit tired now. I've never seen anything like this, ever. Well, they've scraped through their first assignment, just. I've never, ever really even really worked in a manual, physical job, so completely out of my comfort zone. I'm so glad I've seen it, but it is hard work. Like, this is, these are work hands. <laughs> Over in Catherine, Christina and Little Milton have arrived at the School of the Air. That's what you're in, darling. It's a milestone. Yes. <laughs> very strange. For both of them. And this must be Milton. Hi, Milton. How are you? Well, thank you. <laughs> He's just waking up. Oh, OK. So you've yeah. just driven in this morning. Yeah. How far was your drive? Oh, it's 200. Oh, OK. Milton, would you like to come and choose a puzzle? This is the only time little Milton gets to meet his teachers and the other School of the Air kids face to face. Come down to the carpet. After today, they'll only see each other online. Come and sit down here, Milton. Do you know what colour this is? It's a little overwhelming. Look at all the things on there that are green. Especially for Mum. <laughs> Am I supposed to go? Do you want me to go? <laughs> and I'm not going to make a big scene. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No worries. What does he need so he can walk? Oh, yeah, here. For Christina, it's the first time letting her son go. That's it. He seems fine. He's the most talkative one in there at the moment. <laughs> Thanks. Doesn't even care. <laughs> See ya. Boarding school next year. <laughs> How do you do? He should be fine. I might want to stay all day. I haven't done anything like this on her yet. Christy and Rainey are doing their final workout before tomorrow's camp draft. <laughs> That's better. This one's a local event. And it's a bit of a family affair. That'll pit Jones against Jones. Oh, we're doing a tight peg. We're just practicing getting your beast in the right direction. So I'm the beast. Christy's the cow. The beast. beast. <laughs> Not the cow. <laughs> Come on, Granny. Camp drafting in the Northern Territory is sort of one of the only social things to do when you're living on a station. You can't exactly go into town and have a game of netball. It's a sport that everyone from the stations can compare their horsemanship. Christy and Rainey aren't the only budding Jillaroos at Cooley Bar. The British backpackers are putting in the hard yards. Uh, it gives them a shock, sorry. It is. I think I've aged about five years since I've been here. We're covered in cuts. Just constantly dirty and filthy. If they're going to extend their working holiday, they've got to find something they're good at. I think they're going to do branding and castration, I think. <laughs> We're heating up to iron things just now, so uh, that'll be nice. It's not a job for the faint-hearted. Castration to keep numbers down and make them less aggressive. Branding to keep track of the cattle. Well, you know, it's an experience. I'd never get to see this every day. And I'm not a vegetarian, so, you know, should really watch. But when Milton's around, that's not all they should be watching. One of the bulls just hit me on the neck. One of the calf's bulls. He keeps throwing them at us. <laughs> I've never had a cattle's bulls thrown at me, ever. Bit of fun for the day. After eight hours in the yards, at least the girls have survived intact. High five! <laughs> this day in the yards.
In Catherine, little Milton's off to a flying start at the School of the Air. All of you look like lunch. And Mum can't keep away. He's having a whale of a time over there. I can do it. The teachers are great. Yeah, Sally's been doing Sally was actually Rainey's teacher as well, so... Yeah, she'd know all the tricks in the book. I am a crocodile and I wiggle my hips. I, I can, can do it. it. Oh, come on, Sharon. Down. Oh, I'm awake. Christina wasn't sure how little Milton would go in a class full of kids. Now his teacher's going to tell her. It's a whole new setting. It's different to home, so often I like to sit back and watch and, and like, just let's check it out and make sure I think I can do this and I can be part of this. It's not a big book. He was really good this morning, first up. And he just joined in slowly on the mat and, and shared with other kids and everything else like that, so it was really good. I didn't share with any of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big tick for his one and only day in class, until boarding school and he turns 10. It's a special day that won't be repeated. Children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, I want those big smiles again. Milton, don't smile. Don't smile, Milton. Don't, Milton. Don't. Good on you, buddy. Back at Cooley Bar, the rest of the Jones gang are packing up and heading out for tomorrow's camp drive. A bit of evening wear. They'll meet Christina and little Milton and Catherine. And for Hamish, Christy and Rainey, it's game on. I've got um, six runs in total, so it'll be good. They're all in the same event. Christina Jones is the favourite, but little brother Hamish isn't faced. I expect to have a few more ribbons by the end of the weekend. So I give a lot of them to Mum. When I go down there, I can um, rub it into my brother and sister then. So you reckon, Hamish? We'll see, mate. We'll see. In Catherine, the camp draft is underway. The Cooley Bar crew are going head to head in the main event. Rainey's in it, Christina's in it, Christy's in it. We're all in it, all in it to win it. Very nervous, like being sick. It's not a very good feeling. Oh, yes. oh. The word on the ground is that Christina is the one to beat. But for some reason, she's unusually nervous. Oh, this is um, the challenge pattern. I've just got to learn before I ride it. Well, there is one Jones without a fear in the world. His event is first up. I want to go to sleep. And even Nana and Pop have come to watch. I'm Milton's grandmother. <laughs> well, he's just waiting for his ride, which hopefully won't be long. The goal is to get around this course fast. First out will be Milton Junior Jones on the podium. Yeah, that's so funny. Good. Milton! You got second. You get a second. Milton Junior! While the Joneses are away, the British backpackers are finally putting their feet up. And they're pondering one of Cooley Bar's biggest mysteries. We've been trying to figure out how old Lurch is. And it's quite difficult because of his hair. Because his hair isn't grey, and we're trying to figure it out. Oh, good, Lurch. I asked him his age, and he's told me 21. So I think that's as far as I can get. So I'm trying to probe with everybody else. But everybody else is just as clueless. Yeah, I don't know how old Lurch is. 
Yeah, I think uh, Luke's a bit younger than we think. He's two years older than me. I'm going to back 65. Mm. I'm going 65. Between 65 and 70. Really? I'm just going to go for it. I think 68. Mm. It's really difficult, though. <laughs> yeah. You just need to move over. Now, these girls never knock back a challenge. You want it short? Lurch, how short do you want it? So they've talked the reluctant lurch into a haircut. I don't know about this. I think I've been hurt. Hey, I I'm think I've been hurt. And they're not going to let him go without an answer. Uh, okay. Jesus oh, God. Just be still. Yeah, you don't have to screw it that hard. It'll come off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're forcing that machine, eh? Hey? You're I'm forcing that it. machine. Well, I'm supposed to just glide gently through your soft yeah. dishes locks. <laughs> Okay, so would you? You're 20 Lurch, years yeah. younger. So how old are you? I'm not dying. Why not? Larch, come on, tell us how old you are. Uh -huh. And we start guessing to say higher and lower. Lurchie, are you 70? Yeah, just yeah, my enemy out of me. Ranging from 68 to 70 sheep. Maybe. What star sign are you, Lurch? They might be able to guess it that way. Oh, uh, I don't even know, I'm sure. Who are these Nah. No birthday. Nah. You do know. I gotta look it up. Come on, what, what day is your birthday? I gotta look it up. You've got to look it up. Yeah, I gotta look it up. That's radical. Da -da, da -da. 59. It's dead on. You're 59? Yeah. Are you? 59. You're looking good. It's <sighs> like a different Archie. He looks like a new man. Yeah, he looks, looks amazing. Yeah. I wouldn't say amazing, but I'd say different. Back in Catherine, the Joneses are lining up for the main event. Yeah, I was worried this morning actually because she was really tight and she did throw two good bucks into me and I sort of thought, well, that's probably enough. But yeah, I definitely don't want to fall off. <laughs> Second place is the first loser. Butterflies are active in my belly. <laughs> Nerves are happening. <laughs> Rainy's first up. Out on course, Rainy Pierce. <laughs> and she posts a good score. <laughs> Christy's next. <laughs> and she's also on fire. As for hubby Hamish. But anyway, the cattle are tough and any score's a bonus at the moment. There's not many of them. I'll pull out a 90. Well, he talks a big game. Oh, you're just going to slip him under that first peg. Nothing wrong with the horse, nothing wrong with the beast. It was pilot error. And that cow was never going to be any fun. Oh, he bummed out. <laughs> oh, that's camp Garfin. Can't be too disappointed. There you go from the penthouse to the house real quick. To the outhouse. While Hamish licks his wounds, all eyes turn to the favourite. Competitor number 38, Christina Jones on Hazelwood Nitrogen. They should be next in camp. Jeez. But something's not right. Competitor number 38, Christina Jones on Hazelwood. Christina's trained for this event for over a month. And based on the form she showed at the biggest camp draft in the Territory, she should do well here. Get up a bit, girl, get up. But it's not going to plan. Who got him? Hit him, hit him! Oh, Jesus, just missed it. That was bad luck. She's just back a little bit too far. But anyway, that's the go. So Christina missed the finals for the ladies. Just doesn't seem right. It's been a day of mixed fortunes. Little Milton cleaned up. You're going to pay for the fuel. You're the one that won everything. Want to fuel the truck up for us? Rainy's in the money too. I got second in the encouragement, and I got three hundred dollars prize money. 
But Christina, well, she didn't seem to go full tilt. And that's a puzzle. Come on, slow down a bit, you. Until Mr and Mrs Jones decide to come clean. We've been keeping it a bit of a secret, so we'll surprise them. Well, I've got a little announcement to make. We're getting married. <laughs> Here, look, have a look at that. Here, look, we're pregnant. Lion. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at it. Yeah, we're very excited, obviously. Is that exciting? Mum got the scan done this morning. That's your little brother or sister. Oh, hey, show Nana. What's that? I first found out at about five weeks that I was pregnant, but we didn't tell anyone. Yeah, very excited. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a whole new challenge. What is that? The baby. The baby. Well, you have a brother or sister. Yeah, but, but... Well, where's the head? Yeah. That's the head, yeah. To think that it's not just the three of us anymore, it's, there's another one, which will be really good, but it'll be different. You know what I mean? From the head to the bottom, it's about, about that, that big, big. isn't it? What do you want, brother or sister? Sister. All right, well, we'll see what we can do, eh? What do you reckon, Bob? <laughs> yeah, I reckon a 50% chance it could be. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, been a big day, eh? Good day. The best. <laughs> Next time, Give me a look, man. the Joneses head to the city <laughs> to meet the new member of the clan. Look at that! <laughs> look at its little legs. God, it's amazing, isn't it, eh? <laughs> but with the bosses away... <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got a can of Spam on my bed. That's what they left <laughs> me with. That's it. It's time for the workers to play. See you.